everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're doing another Moldy's Movie Time. Um, we've only done one of these so far. Uh, last week we reacted to a 16 year old girl who got a Lamborghini Countach for her birthday. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to go and watch that video for yourself. Since that got quite a positive reaction, I thought we'd do it again today. Uh, we're going to be looking at um, a TLC video, uh, which is a, um, a channel um, on TV, in case you didn't know. Um, but it's called, When Your Kid's Obsessed With Vacuums, You'll Always Have Clean Floors. And obviously, you can guess, it's about a kid who has an obsession with vacuum cleaners. Sounds very interesting, um, hopefully it's going to be quite entertaining, um, the last video I found very interesting. Before we get into the video though, I just want to say, if you are new to the channel, um, welcome firstly. But for those of you who are used to the usual gaming content, do not worry, the gaming content is not going away. And final thing I want to say is, as you're watching this video right now, I'm actually moving into my new university apartment. Um, so I will do like a room tour like I did last year, um, but I'm going to have like a proper setup there and I am planning on doing a setup video showing you guys my um, recording and gaming setup. So look forward to that. But anyway, that is enough um, housekeeping. Let's do some actual housekeeping and have a look at this guy's obsession with vacuums. Uh, I've got the video loaded here. Um, let's just watch it and see what happens. The only thing 13-year-old Logan Holes of Sibley, Iowa likes more than the sound of one of his over 100 vacuum cleaners is the feeling... The fuck? This, he's a 13-year-old lad and he has over a hundred vacuum cleaners. A hundred vacuum cleaners. I knew what I was getting myself into when I when I decided to watch this video, but it's <laughs> we think as humans we think we've seen everything in the world, and it's until you start watching videos like this, you know, there's some things that YouTube recommends to me. I have no idea why it recommends it to me. It looks interesting, so I watch it, and I'm just sat there like, what the fuck? Why are these people, you know, so weird? But there we go. Um, we can <laughs> we can see a little bit of his room, some of his vacuum cleaners. Um, he's using this one here, but they all look quite like old vacuum cleaners. None of them look like new vacuum cleaners. Like I don't see like a Dyson here anywhere. This one looks a little bit newer, but they all have like the bag, um, and they're all these like you know stand up with a handle things. I haven't seen one of these Hoovers since I was about five years old. So, yeah, maybe he liked vintage vacuum cleaners. You know, a lot of people like vintage lawnmowers. This lad likes vintage vacuum cleaners. So there we go. Oh, there was, there is a Henry Hoover, like, down here. Enjoy when I vacuum. I always vacuum at least three or four times a day just to get that nice feeling. He gets up in the morning, he cricks the vacuum on, vacuums his bedroom. Then when he comes downstairs, vacuums living room. Okay, I get the parents probably aren't too worried about this. You know, it's just a young lad. He likes being tidy. He likes hoovering his room. What I'm wondering about this is where he gets the money to buy all these vacuum cleaners. Do the parents buy them for him? You know, like, oh, it's it's my son's birthday. Oh, yeah, what have you got him? I got him another vacuum cleaner. You know, like, um, that's what I'm wondering. Like, where he gets the money to buy these things. He says he vacuums three or four times a day. Well, if he's vacuuming like my house, it takes like a good hour to vacuum the house. So that's, you know, three or four hours a day. So does he have a job? Does he go to school? That's what I want to know. Like, he's at home at the moment. Like, when he's at school, how is he doing all the vacuuming? Like, he must, you know, he must do it before, get up really early, do it before he goes to school, and then do it again when he gets home, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I have so many questions that I need to know. Um... But yeah, the parents don't seem too, well, at this stage in the video, they don't seem too shocked about it. They're probably quite happy that they're cleaning his house. Through the dining room and then my kitchen. 
and he will come home from school and vacuum again. It makes me feel kind of annoyed because there's always a vacuum running around the house and I can't really concentrate on what I want to do. So that must get like really annoying for the uh, the other kids in the house. I mean, you can see here, she's, she's trying to learn to play the piano. I learned to play the piano when I was a child. Um, you've got to have quite a lot of silence. Like Even if someone's talking in the background, when you're trying to focus on playing the piano or any instrument for that matter, if you have any kind of like talking in the background, if you try and listen in on the conversation while you're trying to practice piano, you start playing the wrong keys or, or you know whatever instrument you're playing. You'll start listening to the conversation rather than focusing on the sound you're making. So having a vacuum cleaner like always going... Um, yeah, I can see how that would be annoying, but I feel like it would be one of those things like, uh, people who live next to like a train line or who live in a city or something, after a while, you probably get used to it. I usually like to go to other places to vacuum. My mom works at the hair salon, so... Okay, it's got even weirder. I... I don't know what I was expecting, but, you know, my man here, he takes his, his vacuum cleaner for a bike ride. Yeah. I like to go there. He likes to come down here, obviously, and do some vacuuming of the hair. And, of course, we need it done daily. And so he will come down and do it daily here. The mum seems very happy about that. Like, he's doing the vacuum cleaning at work. She does. She never has to do the vacuum cleaning. You know, she works at the hair salon. Lots of hair falls on the floor. A lot of the time, when you go to the hairdresser, though, they have a, a sweeping brush and a dustpan, and they'll put it in like a bin. I've never seen them hoover it up before, so I don't know if that's good for the hoover or not. I mean, it is only hair, but um, and he's got a hundred of the vacuum cleaners to use if he breaks this one, but. I want to know, does he have like an emotional attachment to them? Uh, so like, if one did break, would he try and fix it? Let's keep watching, maybe we'll find out. And then when I'm done at my mom's salon, my dad's a fire chief, so I vacuum the fire hall. I like having a local down here at the fire hall, because firemen are the dirtiest guys in the world sometimes, which can't help. And he's takes care of it. He's like my maid, if you will. But he makes sure he cleans. I have the cleanest trucks in northwest Iowa. And if he runs out of trucks to do and the floors to do, you'll be out in the bay sucking up the cracks. Well, that's quite good, I guess. Um, I all when I look at these kind of things, I'm always trying to put my my self in their shoes, um, so to speak. Well, I did, as I'm watching this, I'm actually thinking like as a parent of this child. You know, he's not hurting anybody. He's actually helping people. You know, he's like hoovering up his mum's salon. He's keeping the house clean. Um, he's going to his dad's work, doing the hoovering, keeping that nice and tidy. Uh, especially like in a fire uh, station, that's really important. So he's not really hurting anyone. Okay, it's a little bit strange, maybe. Um, but so far, I'm not really seeing anything wrong with this. The only thing that is a little bit, uh, maybe uh, a little bit unhealthy, is the amount of vacuum cleaners he has. Uh, so, as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm a huge car guy. I'd love to have, you know, hundreds of cars. But having hundreds of vacuum cleaners, I don't know. I don't know if that's weird or not. Like, having hundreds of cars is kind of like an acceptable thing. If you've got the money, having a lot of cars, I don't think people would look at that too weirdly. Having a lot of vacuum cleaners... People look at it a bit weirdly, but should we? Should we look at it weirdly? I don't know. I'm vacuuming until it's all done, and then I repeat every day. Sibley is a small town. Everyone knows everyone, and they may not know us directly, but they'll be like, hey, your son's the vacuum kid. Next thing you know, we're receiving vacuums from these people that were broken. And uh, most of the people thought it was just to let him play with him and just experiment with him and things like that. So here we go. He's got his a delivery of vacuum cleaners. So this is, I guess, where he gets the vacuum cleaners from. Um, other people around the village know him as the vacuum boy. He doesn't seem too upset about that. The parents seem quite, you know, upbeat about it. So fair enough. But um, yeah, he gets his vacuum cleaners broken. Uh, some of them. Maybe he mends them. 
I hope this doesn't become a sexual thing, like like he starts doing things with the vacuum cleaners. I can only imagine. <laughs> um, well, yeah, let's keep watching. I hope it doesn't get to that point, but you never know. Some of these, like, My Strange Addiction things. But now he's repairing them and handing it back to him. So here's your vacuum back. And they're going, I just gave it to you to play with. I didn't expect it to return in working condition. So that's another good thing. He's actually fixing people's um, vacuum cleaners as well. So like he's he's learning the skills of like how to fix something, I guess. So that's that's a positive thing. Um, so I'm actually wondering how many of these vacuum cleaners that we're seeing, like even in this shot here, like how many of those are actually his. He's kind of like a um, vacuum cleaner repair shop, if you will. It wouldn't surprise me if he said to his parents, you know, like, when I'm older, I want to own a vacuum uh, vacuum repair shop or something. And that's not that strange, to be honest. Um, there's a person I know lives in the village, and he repairs, like, lawnmowers and strimmers and things. And that's quite a normal thing. Um, I mean, I don't think he has an obsession with them, but still, if this guy wants to go and repair people's vacuum cleaners, then, yeah, it's quite a good thing. I wanted to add to my collection. Hey! Brenda. Hi, Logan. Got a vacuum for you. So, I created a business, Logan's Miracle Works Vacuum Cleaner Repairs. There we go. He's already got himself a business. So, I guess that answers the question how he pays for buying new ones, although it doesn't look like he, he buys a lot of new ones. I think he gets a lot of them given. But he's actually got himself a business going, which is, is quite good. Um, that's that's a positive thing, you know. He's earning a bit of money. He's getting some hands-on experience from it. Should be okay. Thank you. Every time I fix a vacuum cleaner, I feel like a detective trying to find out a crime. Screws. I usually try to dig deep, far into the vacuum. If I find something odd-looking, I always take that apart and put a new one back in, and then voila. The most important part about fixing a vacuum cleaner is having to test the vacuum cleaner to see if it runs. Of course, you've got to test it. You've got to test that your vacuum vacuum. Right? Yeah. I can't speak today. You know, it's it's a weird day. We're watching thirteen year old boy obsessed with vacuum cleaners. Yeah. Let's see how he tests them. I hope he doesn't put it on his. Let's just watch. I use glitter as my test dust because it's one of the hardest substances to vacuum up. <laughs> Perfect. And there we go. That that was the end of the video. Um. Yeah. A lot of you probably watching this thinking, "Oh my God, it's weird." Like, imagine my kid being obsessed with vacuum cleaners. But as I've said throughout this video, there's not really there's not really been a bad sight. You know, he's not hurting anyone. His parents seem fine with it. He doesn't seem like overly obsessed obsessed with it okay yeah he has a lot of vacuum cleaners around the house that do take up a lot of room but you know he repairs it for other people he earns a bit of money from it um he seems to enjoy fixing it you know it gives him some sort of fulfillment the only thing that is a little bit um a little bit sort of off for me is for the other siblings um it's it might be a little bit hard like if they're trying to study for school or like the young girl was trying to learn the piano. Um, that I can understand how that would get a little bit annoying. Um, you know, you're, you're trying to sort of get on with your life and you've constantly got this vacuum cleaner noise in the background. Okay, he might have some sort of obsession. He's cleaning like three or four times a day. But to be honest, I watched this video. I don't really think he's got too much of a problem here. In my opinion... Um, you know, I'm not a psychologist. I'm making this sound like I'm giving some sort of like psychologist report. Um, you know, I'm just a YouTuber watching a video. But in my eyes, he seems happy. The rest of the family seems quite happy. Um, as long as he doesn't start having like sexual relations with the vacuum cleaners and letting it get weird like that. I mean, he is only 13, so when he gets older, um, you know, it, it could get to that. You don't know. Um, hopefully, like, when he gets a bit older, he might just sort of grow out a bit. 
Um, I mean, he is only 13. Uh, well, he's 13 and he's fixing vacuum cleaners. That's quite quite an amazing thing. So, um, yeah. I hope you did enjoy watching this video with me. Um, let me know if you want to see more reaction videos like this one. I, I'd really enjoy making them and hopefully you all enjoy watching them. If you do enjoy watching them, then please let me know by dropping a like or let me know in the comment section. And if you want to suggest some videos to me, then you can email me. Link is in the description or you can send me them on Twitter. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. Thanks all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.